Rockler Arm Lubricating System. Wrong. You have no more tries. We will show you the answer. Click the components for further information. The purpose of the strainer is to collect sludge and coarse particles in the lubricating oil to prevent damage to the pump. Unscrew the drain plug. Pull out the strainer element and clean it. Remove sludge in the strainer housing. Reinstall the strainer element. Reinstall the plug. Watch the lubricating oil pressure until the reading is normal and the low pressure alarm is off. The Rocker Arm Lubricating Oil Pump is a tandem pump of the gear type. It is driven by the crankshaft gear wheel. In addition to operating as a rocker arm lubricating oil pump, it serves as a fuel oil feed pump or a nozzle temperature control oil pump. To prevent leakage from the pump into the engine, the space between the sealing ring and the pump is drained through telltale hole 1. If a leakage is observed, the pump has to be removed so that the location of the leakage can be determined and mended. If a leakage is observed with the telltale hole 2, the sealing ring, or at least one of the pumps, will have to be replaced, depending on which is faulty. Inspect the telltale holes monthly. The relief valve for the system is mounted in the filter. There is a cock and a handle on the filter housing. These are used for bypassing and cleaning of the filter respectively. The F mark on the cock corresponds with the mark on the filter housing during normal operation. If not, the filter is not in use. The filter element should be cleaned at least once a day. This is done by turning the handle on the filter housing a few turns. Clean the filter element by clicking the handle. To bypass the filter, turn the cock to position D. Remove the blind flange. Remove the impurities. Reinstall the flange. Remember to fill up suction pipe and filter after overhauls involving removal of the suction pipe.